Moscow accuses Kyiv of attempts to attack the Kremlin in the very heart of the Russian capital, Moscow, with two drones. As a result of timely actions taken by the Russian military and special services using radar systems, the devices were disabled. There were no victims or material damage as a result of their crashing and scattering of fragments. Russia regards these actions as a planned terrorist act and an assassination attempt on the Russian President Vladimir Putin. The President was not at the Kremlin at the time of those attacks, according to the Kremlin, he was at his residence outside the Russian capital in Nova Agarova. His work schedule has not changed and Moscow still plans to hold the military parade on the victory day in Moscow's Red Square. It says it reserves the right to take retaliatory measures where and when it sees fit. State Duma Speaker Vyacheslav Volodin says that the terrorist attacks against the Russian president is an attack on Russia. He added that lawmakers would demand the use of weapons capable of stopping and destroying the Kyiv terrorist regime, as he described it. He also said that no talks can take place with President of Ukraine Vladimir Zelensky. Russian authorities are now also talking about the need to tighten measures to counter drone threats. In a statement, Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabanin said drone flights would be prohibited unless a special permit had been obtained from governmental authorities. Over the course of the past days, Russia has seen a series of attacks on its soil, including fire at the old depots and explosions on rail tracks. Dasha Chernyshova, CGTN, Moscow.